Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Waverly, Kentucky. As you can see, we are here. We are on October 1st. We are currently chopping some corn. And, uh, <clears throat> I got all the headlands done. And, uh, now we're starting on the up down rows. And we've also got our Alice Chalmers over there raking our final cutting of hay for the year. So we're going to go ahead and let him get that done, and then as soon as he's done raking, we're going to flip him over to the baler and let him get that bailed up. Um, we've actually got a lot going on here today. Our soybeans are also ready to combine, so uh, we're going to go ahead and head up there and get Dad set up on uh, combining while this unloads. Because it does kind of take a little while to unload. So we're going to run up here and uh, try not to get run over. And we're going to make sure we got all of our settings right. We should be good to go. And we're going to see here. Okay. So it is going to drop the bean straw, which is good, because then we can bale all that up and uh, sell it, make a little bit of money, because as you can see, we are kind of getting a little low. We are down to 35000 We would probably be down in the negatives by now, but uh, I did sell. We had a... Uh, we had two of the forage wagons. And I did sell one of them. Um, I thought that the forage harvester that we were using would... Um, oh, is he... Oh, he is going to be able to make that corn. Sweet. Um, I had thought that... Um... these forage wagons would hook to the back of our chopper and then we could just let course play go until it fills one switch them out come over and unload but unfortunately it would not work so I just sold one of them and we're just running the one so we're up over a hundred thousand now I did have it uh, turned on there for a little bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can't fill it on its uh, amount of chaff. Actually, we should probably turn it on. Let's activate that. So that way it can work on turning it into silage as we go. So that way we don't run out of room. Because um, that's the last thing I want to do is be in the middle of chopping and then we run out of room. So we're going to just let that um, run. And hopefully it'll be able to kind of keep up. And uh, keep enough room freed up for us to get all of this corn chopped. I have not set the auger up yet. Um, we'll worry about that whenever we get to it. And the rake is making good time. I did have to change up a couple of settings on this forage harvester though. With the 850 model, it was only running like two mile an hour. Um, so I had to change it out to the 900 setting in order to have the power to be able to actually chop at a decent speed. So, I'm not sure. We might actually end up piling some of this chaff if it gets down to that point. Um, I mean, we're already over 100 and we haven't even gotten half of this field done. All that was was three headlands around it. So, 
just kind of have to see what happens here. Um, kind of see, I guess, how much we end up with. Because like I said, I do want to try and chop all of this. Just so that way we've got it. And we don't have to really worry about silage again next year. be nice to get you know six seven hundred thousand of it <clears throat> and I mean the rate that we're currently going it's, it's gonna be a good chunk at least if we can fill the four hundred and eighty thousand that that harvester holds that I would be okay with as well so Why are, I don't know if it's our rake that keeps saying blocked by an object, or if it's our combine going. That hasn't said anything yet, so I'm just going to assume that everything's going good over there. I will probably have to check in with them here a little later. Um, it wasn't sounding too hot earlier when I talked to him, so just check in a little later, make sure he's all good, and he's doing all right. Um, just kind of keep a watch on him. I hate for anything to happen, especially now. Now is when we need him the most, so... Without him running the combine, that would be on uh, standby. And then if it weren't for a couple of good neighbors, um, we wouldn't be combining. Dad would be sitting there in the chopper, and we wouldn't be making hay right now either. So all that we got to do is just move stuff for him and unhook our rake and hook up our baler for Fred and he'll get bailing. What we gotta do is move this uh, chopper here for John so and he's good to rock and roll. He will move the tractor for us though. So got that going on. It looks like Fred's just about done down here, so when we hit the end here, we'll have to run over and swap that out for him. You know what? We're at 99% anyways. Let's just go ahead and go dump it. We'll let uh, John get turned there and we'll run over, get this unloaded, and then uh, old Freddy should be about done. So, let that unload. Just take over here for a quick sec. Get this done up. And we're just gonna drop this rake um, right over here by the pressure washer for now to wash that before we put it away, but I want to get uh, Fred moving here and get him to uh, get everything finished up. That way we can have it done and then uh, we can send him home.
Fred was out here pretty early this morning. So he got a good jump on things and got her moving. And... All right, let's reset the bail counter. Okay, off he goes. Perfect. And I see Dad still moving down there. Let's look at our precision map once at our yield. Looks like the beans are yielding pretty good. He's still not quite full. Oops, wrong menu here. He is going around on the second headland here, so. All is good there. He says he's doing okay. It just texted him, so. Well, I texted him and asked how he was feeling. He said, I'm fine. I'm busy. Well, alright. Guess we'll just let him be and let him keep combining that. He did seem pretty busy on the phone earlier too, so that could also be something that might be kind of bothering him, I guess. While he's trying to uh, take calls and you know, maybe deal with some business or something. Downside here. Of uh, these fields. Once we combine some stuff here, I want to kind of paint this border back to kind of where where our tractor is right now. So then, hopefully, in the future, while using course play, it. Uh, make those corners and we don't have to really worry about it anymore. We will use a, lose a little bit of land in doing so, but I mean, I'd rather do that than have to be constantly s stopping and fixing them being stuck. I do like this corn texture. It's kind of neat. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Alma Missouri's, I guess. Only it's got more of a like grassy stubble look to it. So yeah, we're getting a lot done here today, which is very, very good. Glad to see and, and it's definitely nice to have some neighbors that can help out. Granted, you know, they could use the little bit of extra cash. That's kind of the main reason that we got them here. Obviously, I'm not going to make them help out for free or nothing. I'm going to pay them for their time here. Okay, let's take a quick look at our production.
options. So, yep, we're still... We're already at 200 yards. So we're about a third of the way there. And... Yeah. Not even done with one field yet. I have a feeling that we're going to be almost full by the time we get back down to the end. The only downside to this silo is that the trigger, you gotta be out a little ways for it. So, it doesn't actually look like it's going in. Oh boy, we're already at 155,000. I'm assuming this holds around 30,000. So, let's run up here, take a quick peek. See how things are going up here. Getting close to full. Hmm. Yeah, there we just hit 80. So, what we're gonna do over here, and we're waiting on that to unload. We're going to grab our cart unload that on the go here. Fred must have had a bale in front of him or something maybe. I'm very thankful that uh, John actually works on a custom chopping crew. Um, so he is pretty skilled operator when it comes to that chopper there. So he definitely knows what he's doing, knows his way around it. So there's no uh, training required or anything like that. don't seem to be yielding too terrible. Okay, he's good to go. So pull this guy off to the side. And let's jump back into our 7430. He's unloaded, so let's rock on back up here. Yeah, we still got about a third of the field to go yet. But we're doing pretty good. We're getting her. Slowly but surely. So whenever uh, Fred gets done and we have 
the time to do so, we'll get all those bales cleaned up. And if the baler's got anything left in it, we're going to um, just pick up some of the scraps around the field to finish off the bale so that way we've got a nice empty baler for our soybean straw. Let's see what kind of bales we can get off of it to uh, sell and hopefully we can make a good amount of bales and a good amount of money. So yeah, we definitely are going to need some money to get us by until we can uh, hit good market prices and sell off our uh, oats and soybeans. It's going to be a tough first year to kind of get going struggle a little bit, I have a feeling, but hopefully we can make it by and get through next year yet, and hopefully next year we can kind of get a little better, be a bit better off, but uh, time will tell on that one. All we can do is hope. Just see where the time takes us. Swather for Fred when he got done. Um, kind of helped out with it a little bit. And then he said he could go ahead and get moving on raking and whatnot. We got this set up. We got the chopper and header. We we'll have the combine and header, the tractor and cart. We'll have the Alice, the baler, the bale trailer. We're going to have a lot of washing. Pretty busy for an afternoon just to get all that taken care of. At least our corn is running pretty well. That's a very, very good sign for me. It means that. Uh, make enough silage this year. We don't have to do any next year. Well, we won't have to do any next year because it's probably me, probably going to be next year before we actually get any cattle. Um, I don't even know if this last cutting here of grass is going to fill our mixing building on its hay capacity. And in addition to that, not only do we got to fill that, but we want to have some hay left over so that way we can feed just hay. So we kind of got a lot of work ahead of us here to even get us ready for cattle. Um, we are pretty good on straw. All of the straw from our oats there. Um, we actually filled, um, take a look here at it while this is unloading. We filled the building here on straw, as you can see down there, 125,000. So then we'll run over here to Dad's. And as you can see, we still have 50, 
Well, we have two bales that are partially used, um, apparently. I didn't realize that it uh, took anything out of those two bales, but we have a total of 57 straw bales in the building yet. So we have a pretty decent amount of those. I think we might do one more round of um, straw next year to kind of try and um, stockpile a little bit more just to have a good amount to sit on and uh, yeah then we definitely want to put more grass in next year if we can so that way we can uh, try and make more hay next year Clipping over 200,000 here. Boy. We might be piling some of this chaff on the ground back here. And I don't remember how much this silo was. Small fermenting silo. Sixty thousand. So we don't have enough money for it, but we could fit one right here next to the other one. Should we need it? Obviously, down the road, we kind of can't do anything right now with it. be the bales in the field that are kind of messing with them. But it looks like he is almost done, so... Um, then we can get that out of the way, done, finished up. <coughs> That'll be one more thing off of our list for now so I think with the way that we've been going so far we might maybe be able to get one more load out of here yet Either way, if we don't fill, we're going to take it back and dump it anyways before we start the next field. Okay, and our baler is done. So, I think what I'm going to do off camera is I'll get this field finished up uh, and we'll get moved on to our next cornfield and I'll get uh, this field cleaned up get that all taken care of uh, or, well probably not pick up the bales but we'll get that baler emptied and uh, Fred said he's going to run home and then he will come back and wash the rake the Alice Chalmers and the baler for us so that'll kind of help uh, ease a little bit off of the plate. And then uh, hopefully Dad'll get that uh, first bean field done and get it moved on over to the next one. So that's going to do it for today, folks. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that, hit that like button. And as always, folks, we'll see you.